Hello, this is Ken Norman, one of the directors and trustees of the Lido at Chipping Norton. And I wanted to follow up on the video that I posted to YouTube on the 4th of February. And I want to begin by thanking Marcus Brigstock, Indian Knight, Ben Goldacre and Alan Rusbridger, all of whom tweeted about it and generated me over 9,300 views of the video. That's fantastic. And a direct result of that is that I've raised nearly a third of the £1,600 withdrawn from us by West Oxfordshire District Council. Another side effect is that uh, we've been picked up by the local and national media and both the Banbury Guardian and Radio 5 Live gave right of reply to Councillor Simon Hall, uh, the man with the red pen that has removed the discretionary rate relief for all charities in the district with over £1,500 on reserves. And I want to do respond to some of the comments that he's made. Um, first of all, in the Banbury Guardian, Simon Hall suggested that £1,600 would be an easy sum for the Lido to find, in that it represented a little over £100 a month. Now, I don't know if you can see what he's done there, um, but £1,600 divided by 12 is in fact £133.33, a significant uh, figure. But it's the wrong sum anyway. We're only open for five months of the year. So the withdrawal of the discretionary rate relief puts an additional £320 worth of costs onto us for every month that we're open. Now, Councillor Hall also points out that we have reserves. Well, yes, we do, and we need them. Uh, we know that this year we'll make a loss in order of around about £26,000 as indeed any outdoor swimming pool does. And in fact, that's the reason the council wanted to close the place in the first instance. So the point is, is that our reserves will be used up this year. I say to Councillor Simon Hoare, he has £700,000 to find uh, as a result of the austerity cuts, uh, but he has reserves of £60 million. So if it follows that we can afford it, I say to him, so can he. But he told me it doesn't work that way. Francis Maud, the Minister for the Cabinet Office and Paymaster General, recently said that 75% of charities receive no state funding so they won't be affected by the cuts. Well, we receive no state funding and we are being affected by the cuts. And he also said that stealing from charities is a repulsive crime. So there, watch your back, Simon Hall. He's coming for you. So what are we to do? Well, we could withdraw our dip and chill night swims for young people. We could stop our top up swimming lessons. We could take away our swim for older people. Or we could sell um, one of our assets, the district council's award for special achievement, perhaps. Uh, we've had it valued and it's worth absolutely nothing, apparently. So there we have it. Uh, Councillor Simon Hoare has given uh, interviews to the Banbury Guardian, to Radio 5 Line, stating that the council's big society credentials are second to none. Except, of course, those councils that haven't removed discretionary rate relief for the charities in their region. So there we are. I've now got to try and raise not a Lady Godiva, a fiver, not a pony, not a monkey even, but what is now known locally as a whore, £1,600. And I shall be doing so by running the Great North Run in September. So if you fancy sponsoring me, uh, click along to everyclick.com, Norman Ken on the link below. And I'd also be grateful if you'd perhaps like or dislike this video by using the buttons below. Thank you so much for listening.